This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys? Vincent here from the creative dojo.net. Hope you guys are doing well out there. Today in this quick tip video, we'll be talking about expressions in After Effects, specifically how to really take your vocal game to the next level and how to really create these really nice, glitchy, sporadic, random effects and property values and how to apply that using expressions and really take it to the next level right here. And so hopefully we'll take things that you already know, like the wiggle expression, random expressions, and really bring it all together to create a really nice, random, sporadic, glitchy movement, but at the same time have a lot of control over it as well. So let's go and take a look at what we have right here. This is actually a background element from the new AEGU Cybernetics pack. This is an awesome pack, which I'll do a review later on this channel. But I'm gonna go ahead and shy all the layers right here. So looking at this logo right now, I'm thinking, hey, this is a really cool logo animation, but it would look even cooler if I could add some more sporadic glitches type movement to the logo. And so there's a lot of ways to do that. Um, the first thing that comes to mind for most people is probably to just apply a wiggle effect, right? So if I go ahead and apply a wiggle expression right here, we can do wiggle and we'll do three, 500. And essentially this is going to wiggle this property three times a second by about 500 pixels more or less. And what you're gonna find out is that you're gonna get this really, you know, it is random movement. It is moving in random directions, um, but it's moving in a very linear fashion. It's very, you know, it's going from one point to another. It's transitioning. Um, it's moving from point A to point B in a very smooth way. And this is really not the kind of randomness that we're going for. This is look, This looks like it's floating. And so you're probably thinking, well, just up the frequency, right? If we do, instead of three, we do like eight, right? This is gonna, you know, make it move a lot faster per second. And it kind of gives you the illusion of a more sporadic movement. But, you know, even at this speed right here, you can kind of still see that it still has linear motion. It is moving a lot faster, but it's still transitioning and interpolating from point A to point B. And it's moving kind of like flies or a swarm of bees or something like that. Um, and this is still not as glitchy and as sporadic as I want it to be. And so you guys are probably familiar with the wiggle expression. Now, a lot of you guys are also familiar with the random expression, right? So we can do something like random, and then we can type in a value like from, from zero to 500, right? And so this is gonna generate a random number between zero to 500 every single frame. And this is gonna really give us truly a random value right here. So position is a 2D property. So I need to do this for the X and Y coordinates here, zero to 500, close it like this. And so again, like I said, this is gonna be a more of a truly random kind of movement because it's not transitioning from point A to point B in a linear fashion. It's literally generating random numbers every single frame. So you are actually getting sporadic movement. But the downside to this is that you really have no control. You can't slow it down. You can't control you know, when it stops or when it goes on. And it's just moving in a very chaotic manner and you can't control the speed, the variation of the speed at any point in time. It's just sporadic the whole way through. Um, so we kind of have two extremes right here. So we can actually take these two principles and really combine it together to create something more, a little bit more cohesive, more controllable in After Effects using expressions. So I'm gonna go and delete this and I'm gonna type in my Power Kit extension. This is a extension that I made uh, on creativedojo.net but basically you don't need this. This is just me showing you in a bigger window and a bigger font so you can kind of see what we're doing on a bigger screen. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in expression, an if else statement. So if else, very, very simple. If this is true, then do everything in here. If not, do everything in here. So I'm gonna type some pseudo code. This is not actually real expressions. I just wanna type the logic out for you. So if random, number is less than probability, then we're going to wiggle this thing. Else, we're gonna keep it the same, right? So essentially, if whatever random number that we have is less than the maximum probability that we have right here, then fine, we're gonna go ahead and wiggle this thing randomly. If not, we're gonna keep it the same. We're gonna, we're gonna keep the layers values the same. We're not gonna change it. Um, and so let's go ahead and replace some of these values with actual working functions, right? So if, let's go ahead and generate a random number, a random number between zero to one, 
And of course, this can be anything. You can change this to like 50 to 100. It really depends on, you know, what your scale is right here. But essentially zero to one works for me. You can also type in just random and it'll automatically do it from zero to one, I believe, because the default properties, prop parameters are um, to one, I believe. Um, but anyways, this is the min and this is the max. And so we'll just define a random probability. Let's just say 0.75, right? And so if this is true, then let's go ahead and wiggle this thing. So we're gonna type in wiggle three, 500 once again. And if, it, if this statement right here is not true, then we'll just do value. And value just means keep the default values. In this case, position, keep the position the same. And so let's go ahead and copy this expression right here, type it in, and we'll just go ahead and just paste it into our position property right here. And so what this does, is you're gonna see that you're going to get sporadic movements, right? You're gonna get sporadic movements. And at some point in time, at random times, you're gonna see the logo return to its original position. And that happens whenever um, the statement right here is false, right? It goes to the else value right here. It's gonna keep the same value. And so if we crank this up to like, instead of 0.75 to 0.9, you can see that it only returned to the original position, you know, very, very few times right here. Likewise, if we change it to 0.1, then this wiggle is not gonna happen very often. It's gonna be static. It's gonna be else value for a majority of the time and only a few times, specifically uh, 0.1 of the time, it's gonna start wiggling. And so by creating an if else statement and by doing a probability type thing, you can really control, you know, how often does this thing actually sporadically glitch, right? We don't want it to glitch all the time. We just want it to glitch a few times. And by using the random and probability right here, we can really control the likelihood, the probability of it actually glitching. So as you can see right here, this is really more of what we're talking about. This is more of a sporadic type movement that we're talking about that you can't really achieve um, you're just using simple wiggles right here. Now, if the probability was a little bit longer, like 0.5, you're gonna start to see that, yeah, hey, we're still using the wiggle expression. So yeah, our logo is still going to be kind of like moving in a linear fashion in the small amount of time that, you know, it is wiggling. Um, and so we can kind of modify that by adding a posterize, capitalized time, and we can set a frame rate for the expression to update. So, you know, right now our comp's 24 FPS. We can set this to like 10, right? And so, yeah, you're still gonna wiggle, you know, three times a second and, you know, modify by 500, but this posterized time will define the frame rate of this expression. So this expression is only gonna be wiggling and updating its values um, every 10 frames. And so we kind of artificially cheated and created a very choppy movement. So yeah, we're still wiggling, but we're going to cut the frame rate of the wiggle down to about uh, 10 FPS. So it's gonna look very, very choppy and look a little, a little bit more sporadic rather than that very, very smooth wiggle type interpolation. And so just like that, we created a really sporadic movement. It doesn't really look like a traditional wiggle. It looks more sporadic and we can control, you know, how often or the, the probability of it actually glitching. Um, so a very, very simple concept right here. So um, if you want to take it even further, we can even, you know, apply an expression controller and do a lot of fancy stuff with it. We can call this um, probability and then we can just link things up right here to the probability slider. And then we can make sure that the expression doesn't break because it just deleted one of our parentheses. So add the parentheses back in, make sure you have the right amount of parentheses. And then we can set the probability to like 0.1. And so only 10% uh, only of that time, um, our logo is gonna start glitching around and you know doing random movements. The other 90% of the time, it's going to have its default value right here. You can pretty much apply this to anything. So for an example, if we copy this expression right here, and go into the opacity of this logo. And if we apply the same expression to the opacity property, and then we change the slider to either link it back to the correct slider or we set a default value to like 0.1 or whatever, um, you're gonna find that not only will the logo kind of sporadically glitch around in position, 
but you're going to see that it's also going to glitch around in terms of opacity and you may need to alter the wiggle parameters to accommodate the um, the property scale range of the actual opacity layer so it doesn't make any sense to wiggle by 500 because the opacity only goes from zero to 100 um, but nevertheless you can see that we can have a very sporadic movement that works for the position and the opacity at the same time. So this is just a really quick tip to really show you how you can kind of combine the random effect, the wiggle effect, posterize time, and a little bit of if else statements to really create this nice little handy way to create sporadic movements within After Effects. Before I go, I wanna give a quick thanks to our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to create an amazing website whether it's for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing things to choose from, fully customized so you can make it the way you want it to look like without having any coding knowledge required. They have awesome 24 hour support and best of all, use promo code DOJO at checkout. You can actually save 10% off your order and support the DOJO. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash DOJO. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. So that's pretty much it guys. Hopefully you guys learned something in this quick tip video. If you guys like expression videos like these, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe for more videos like these. My name is Vincent Nguyen from the Creative Dojo and I'll see you guys next time. Take care guys.